In this tutorial, we're gonna take a look at how to flatten your image. So I've got this texture I've created out here, and let's say I'm in love with it, and it's created from a few different layers. Well, if I don't wanna keep using those layers, I could do a couple things here. If the document is the size that I like, then I can flatten it. Now I could do that by saving it. So I could go to File, Save As, save it as a JPEG, and then bring that JPEG into other documents. Or if I'm working within this document here, I could take these layers, right click, and I could merge layers. So that would merge the layers that I had selected instead of merging everything in my document. If you wanna merge everything in your document, all you need to do is right click and go down to flatten image. That's gonna take everything and turn it into a locked background layer. No matter what you had in that document, it's all gonna be burned into one single layer. You will not be able to edit it anymore. It's a very destructive way, but it also does save size, save CPU when you're working with it. So I've done this before. When I've created a background texture I really like, for instance, then I can just flatten that down and use that texture in other designs. Essentially, I've created an asset out of this. So that is how you can flatten images here in Adobe Photoshop, and then you can just save them out as JPEG or a Photoshop file or anything else that you wanna use.